What's up guys, we are here with SPL Doubles, Kyle Cole vs Stacks. This is the only signing game, this is the only reason I'm recording this. I have no idea about doubles and the chat just died. Let me restart the lobby chat. Reopen. So we see Kyle Cole brought a rain team with nice swift and little colo. Nice Pelipper. And Stacks brought Hale in the back with the potential um, screens. Under nine tails. Grillfish runs, I think it runs physical with waterfall and rain, but like I said, no idea about doubles. I just noted that it runs uh, spikes, set, and singles. So the Kangas can't probably like fix something out here. There's like a lot of switches going on. Like there's so much going on in doubles. I won't. Nah, I need an expert for this next time. I have no idea about doubles, dude. I could actually did a good chunk. Okay, nice play by Stacks. They're changing the weather immediately. So I assume this is. Is Mega Man's allowed in doubles? I think it is allowed. I mean, Mega King is allowed, Aegisl is allowed. This is like different from regular OU. So. The nine tails could run Blizzard, right? Because Blizzard hits both mons and it hits inhale. So I assume he's gonna set up screens here and Kaiko might like attack the nine tails with the quillfish and switch out the mans into maybe Bronzong. Ooh, I actually made a pr predicted correct that a Bronzong would come out. Okay, he changes the weather again. Nice play. That's actually a good idea because um. The screens, the aurora veil only works when the hail is up if I recall correctly, so it's nice and um, changing the weather in case the nantel stayed in, but like Stax doesn't fall for that. King went for protect and Aegy came back out, so there's not much, then not much happened, not that much happened yet, good god, why can I not speak properly, nice 4am, but that's not my ex excuses. Ooh, wow, stop this man. When it's Marowak on the. Ooh, what is Z move bronze on Z trick room? I don't really know what, what that accomplishes. The only way is accuracy. <laughs> but that going into a Marowak on the seismic toss was godly. Eggslash got off a sub, which is scary though. Is he gonna shadow bone the. Oh, he protected, okay. Jarball did nothing to that Fini. Protected the um, Marowak that would have took, uh, taken a Shadow Ball. That's a nice play. In doubles, there's like so much going on and all this switching and this. Like you have to think about so many scenarios. That's too much for me. <laughs> but since this, like, if Kaiko wins this, the series will be six six between Cries and Raiders and. Stacks wins, the Raiders win. So that's why I decided to record this. Um, I mean, Aegislash can just Shadow Ball and Marowak again since it has a sub up. It doesn't have to fear much. I mean, there is a Trick Room up, so I guess it has to fear that he would have double attacked the Aegislash, but I don't think there was a way he would double attack into the Aegis. Muddy Water actually, wow, and rain that hurts. I know Muddy Water is a thing because it hits both mons. That hurt the Murrug really badly. I can already smell the dislikes on this one because I have no idea what I'm talking about. The Jarball did absolutely nothing to the Fini. Like, Bronzong has great defensive type. We were talking about it earlier in the, in the sweep, which was a game, but this would probably go up a few days later. But Bronzong is just so passive. I mean, Trick Room is. I guess Trick Room is nice and doubles to support the team. So, what's the play here? I actually have no idea. Two trick room turns left, so 
the Aegis Slash King Shield last turn, so he could double attack the Aegis Slash here potentially. Um, Bone Runner is actually really good since it breaks the sub and then hits the Aegis Slash again. So he's probably gonna Bone Ring the Aegis Slash and maybe switch out the Bronze Run into the Ludicolo or something. Okay, just Jarabolt, but I don't really see what that accomplished because Bomberang would have like broken the sub anyway. Hmm. A bit confusing. A bit confused there what, as to why he sh um, Jarabolt the Aegis Slash. Like, I'm pretty sure the first Bomberang would have broken the sub anyway, but maybe I'm wrong here. With the bulky Aegis Slash, maybe not, but they run like Max HP, Max Special Attack, right? With Shadowbone and Substitute and King Shield. And I think Flash Cannon is the last move. That's at least what I know from VGC. I mean, uh, Smog on Uber is. Uh, Smog on Doubles is a bit different. Talking about, imagine if that Billy Kura was a Bulu. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, I hope we're getting uh, the matchups for week 6 pretty soon, in a few hours, I guess. I mean, deadline is in 2 hours, but this is pretty much the last game that is that matters. Nice crit on the bronze, on the, I mean, it didn't really matter, right? What's the man's going for double edge? HP as Aegis Slash, oh my god, the tech. I did not see that coming. And he said someone leaked that he would bring men's. Not sure. <laughs> I mean, that was crazy because now. Like, that was the last trick room turn. That was absolute clutch to have HPIs there, holy crap. Look at the Kangaskhan baby, <laughs> chilling in the front. I mean, he can just waterfall the Kangaskhan slot. Oh yeah, oh, he waterfalled the wrong slot, rip. I mean, yeah, I know the Kangaskhan also had protect, but for some reason I had a feeling that it would switch out, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Fag out plus protect on the same side is really interesting. Because usually in VGC you only see either protect or fag out. I never thought both. At least in. Oh my god! He brought out the Fini on the hypnosis. This guy is unstoppable. So the hypnosis didn't work since Misty Terrain prevented the Egg Slash from being put to bad protective mist. Yeah, I think Raiders are falling low if they win this, which it looks like. Oh, man. I want the Christ to at least make it 6 and 6. The Trick Room actually helps the Aegis Slash, blows that. Oh my god, did he predict that? The Bronson protected, he basically accomplished nothing in this turn. There was just a free command for the Fini. Free Shadow Ball on that. Wolfish. That boy, is that boy about the 6 0? Oh my gosh, like he has a sub up, he has a comment up. Jerobol keeps bouncing off, and Aegislet just keeps destroying everything. So at least he gets uh, Giga Drain out, but that did nothing since the Calmind Fini, like that snacked. I mean, he might pro he'd probably get a kill, but he got absolutely. He got absolutely dismantled if that is even a word. My English is like done. Wow. I thought like Ky I know Kyle Cole a little bit, like I've heard about him and I think he's like a really good doubles player. I mean it's obviously SPL for people are good. <laughs> for before the six oh good strategic good strategic move. I lost six two. I mean I don't know why they're talking crap now. But yeah, I can show you guys here the, the end score for everything that has happened so far. Let me just refresh the page really quick 
Lots of Vikings. Destroyed Sharks. I mean, there's one more game. Little Cup, that doesn't matter. Oh, we spoke about that earlier. And then here's 6 6 scooters with bigs. I'll just ma have to make sure that I upload these battles in the proper um, order so I don't spoil anything. If you, like some of you guys might not have locked up the replays. Everything's played in the Wolfpack. Really nice to see the Wolfpack win a week. I th I'm not sure if they were 1 and 3 now, but I think they lost every week before. Nice to see uh, Flame Victini, Pokemon win. Love those dudes. Really cool dudes. And Runas vs. Uh, Tigers not decided yet, but the deciding games are ADV and, ADV and RBY, so yeah. Don't want to record that on Steam. Dex vs. Kyle here was deciding game, so Raiders are up 7-5. Win the week vs. Chronicles, so Raiders are the number one team at the moment. They will... Wait, are they 5 and This is what week 5. I said 4 and earlier. They might be 5 and though. That's crazy. Like, I know they have, like, they, have, they have a really good team, but... I didn't see the race Scarface game. It's, it's a bit annoying. I don't know if it was close. I might just upload a replay of that. Let me know if you guys want to see that and I will record that for you. I haven't seen the game at all. Maybe I will do a blind replay with and try and play it and really slow and try to analyze. But yeah, and this this one I couldn't analyze much. But I don't know if Stax knew his knew that he would bring a man, so if he just Maybe Kyle Cole um, brings Salamence recently often and he just expected him. Or just in general, maybe Stax is usually weak to men's and expected him to bring that, but yeah, not sure about that. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm looking forward to the week 6 matchups that we will hopefully be getting in a few hours. And I'm Doc Rich, I am signing out. Thank you for the support. Just smash that, keep smashing that like button, even though this video doesn't deserve likes because I didn't analyze well and stuff. This is just uh, me trying to like get the coverage done, but doubles, yeah, doubles is like meh. I'm not really motivated to record doubles, but yeah. Thanks you, thank you guys. Anyways, if you watched the entire thing, and Doctor signing out, peace.